Now, your two works for you weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. Getting a break in that precipitation. In fact, those clouds really starting to uh, thin out here across the area. So some sun is peeking through at this hour. So you're probably thinking, this is great. I can get out and about, maybe go grab some lunch and get out without having to deal with any rainfall. Yeah, that is good. But that's also causing some more concern for some severe weather potential. Check this out. The entire state is under some type of severe weather potential for today. We have that marginal risk, which is a one out of five here in the Tulsa area. We're under that slight risk, which is a two out of five for a potentially stronger storm. So sure, we are on the lower end, but we are not ruled out from that severe weather this evening into uh, early tomorrow. So through the overnight hours, we're talking about damaging winds and hail as being the main concerns. By the time this line reaches us, that tornado potential will go down, but I'm still going to keep that as an isolated risk as well as some isolated flooding to develop. Let's talk about this on future track. We could see a few strong isolated cells developing later on this afternoon, especially with those breaks in that cloud deck, giving uh, this system enough fuel to, to produce one of those stronger elements. We'll continue to have a few breaks, few and far between, a few light showers in the area and a few storms. The bulk of this, here comes that line I was telling you about. You can absolutely see where this line will be situated and how it will be tracking into the heart of the area through the overnight hours. What it's looking to do as it's forming into that line, it's looking to slightly bow out from what I'm seeing right here. So winds will be a main concern out of that if this does continue to hold in the pattern that it is shaping up to be, as well as the potential for some hail cores tracking across. There will be some heavy downpours and that's already going to cause more concern for those areas that have already been hit hard with that rainfall. You can see a little bit of a break going on looking out here. I use our Brookside camera looking right here at the station. Let's talk about these temperatures. 75 is definitely feeling more like late spring and early summer across the area. Dew points in those 60s, so you will feel this air the minute you step outside. North winds have greeted us right now. They are remaining calm, but those will shift and drive out of the south, so they will not be with us much longer. Check out these temperatures near 80 degree warmth already in Poto, so we're staying unseasonably warm this afternoon. 80 degrees potentially in the mix. I think we'll keep that sun cloud mix around. I have us coming in those upper 70s and for today, but wouldn't be surprised if we see a few more 80s pop up on there. Very warm and humid spotty storms will start to develop as we head into the evening hours and through the overnight with that increasing chance after midnight. Overnight lows looking about 63 for Mulgee, 65 here for Tulsa. Normal is 60 for this time of the year. Yes, the big story for today will be that severe weather potential in the mix for late tonight and into early tomorrow. Then it's back to just rain potential. We'll have a few storms in this, but I'm not seeing that severe weather potential unless we get another break like we're getting today, allowing those temperatures and those dew points to rise. We'll keep a 40 percent in through Thursday and then by Friday looking at the weekend. That's when we're finally seeing a, a drop in that precipitation, which is some welcome news. We already have a bunch of flood watches out for some of the areas. Wouldn't be surprised if we all get under some type of watch flood watch as we head into uh, tomorrow, especially with how much rainfall we're looking at the forecast in the extended planner with the bulk of that precipitation arriving just to the southeastern portion of our area. So we'll continue to monitor those rainfall totals. Finally getting a break as we look towards the weekend 80s trending not only for the weekend, but well into the work week next week. Hey, Mike and I aren't going anywhere. Neither should you. We'll have more after the break.